this is what I'm hoping to open today. We've got a boost box, two decks, one of each. One of each of the vistas and corn. So glad they included this. I'm excited to see this in person. If a lot of people think this is the better of the two stone tablets. This open first. I actually have three of these to get three separate goods. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep one sealed. Let's see how I feel. So I can't even open this. It's just like a bundle. Yeah, I ordered three separate wizards uh, from over here to the UK um, to make sure I got multiples in this print. I'm glad I did, because like I said, the tournament pack was a very nice addition. And a lot of people a lot of people were hating on the print that I want, but I quite like it because it was like a fossil. Um, There's a fossil that's like the water, and this looks like a sandstone Egyptian tablet. I really like that. This is such a nice touch. One thing people are going to hate on this right there. I don't know if I can use it. Put it in. Bring it in. Let's see, I've got a line. So, I think I'm going to start with the box for now. Uh, then maybe the box and then the blisters. Or maybe the blisters and the box. We'll see how we do. Let's start. Um, cool. I'm going to do Pronodon first. Let's see how this goes. I have not done stream in a while. I started streaming a long time, well, probably a couple of years ago now. Um, uh, yeah, doing, I think it was the Digimon TCG, which is kind of you know, where I tried to start this journey before. It didn't really happen. So hopefully, yeah, let's review the game chance to yeah, we'll try this again, see how we get on. I've been a backer since Kickstarter. I missed out on prototype stuff. I didn't really commit. But yeah, I've been back in Kickstarter. Kickstarter. This is probably the most most product I've ordered since then. So, so of course, each starter deck, each first of all, comes with three packs, which is an awesome addition. It's a benefit for people trying to get into the game or even people. Who struggle to get product and just means that we're getting a yeah, single deck and, uh, and a booster box gives you so much more advantage. I have to admit, Granadal is a really, really nice card. It looks so good. It was crazy to finally have this in person after seeing so many people open this stuff already. Each deck comes with a little how to play guide. I don't think, from what I can tell, there's any Easter eggs in here like there was with Fossil. But this is the kind of stuff I need to learn, especially with some of the cards that come out in this set. So it's the symbols and the timings. Now that uh, Daybreak is finally here, I'm uh, excited to finally play a game. And it's an interesting fact, I still have not played a game. Since, since back in, which is pretty crazy. Um, never bought a Stella or a Stella. I really ordered a product, so that doesn't really surprise me. I've actually, fun fact, ordered 10 bundles of Luna for the first time. I upped it to three bundles for Solar. Increased it to 10. 
Kolum. Saksi. This is our first ever Stella. And our first ever open. Whoa, no Stella somewhere. This one in front of the others. These decks are actually pretty cool out of the box. In fact, I'm hoping to try. Just doing deck battles with them straight out of the box. Eddie. So lots of good staples in here. Okay, Gorgon's Gaze is a good one. I haven't looked at that. I've got the to the stars. So that's, that's massive. So yeah, I'm not going to use the stream. That's something where I go through the decks or the cards. Maybe I'll save that for the stream and I'll do a video on it or something like that. But yeah, this is kind of just me testing the waters, doing an opening stream, seeing what I pull. I can finally get some daylight product. And I'm very excited for that. So I think it's going to be my main deck for now. Each deck comes with a D20 custom. Okay. Uh, well, let's save. Let's, let's crack open the fairy dust up. That's up to that as well. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, I, it's been interesting. Um, I wanted to play. Doing crossbow and didn't have much chance, I'm not trying to get set up. Um, I've been slowly working on it, getting to a place. Um, timing could be quite hard as well to make sure I can sit down and I can invest time into openings and playing and deck building. But yeah, I'm hoping to get more games on the belt, create some more content for the channel. But yeah, I'm trying to just get more involved in general with the, uh, with the community, see what they've got. A lot of good channels out there that kind of inspired me to do this and the last year I've watching that. So yeah, hopefully we can we can continue to learn to grow and see. This is a really cool card. So excited for Luna. I think a lot of people are. And, uh, yeah. It's uh, it seems to have particular interest. The solar cards are cool. Uh, a lot of the aesthetics are probably not my style. I think from like my original original um, elements, maybe earth and water are probably my two favourites. I really enjoy the look of earth and stuff like that. This is one of my favorite cards. I wasn't actually looking, so I can find this back. It's okay. So if we can pull a first set, we do have two more of each of these decks. So we have play sets of the, the hollows. No stellar craft mounts. But these are the camels. There's craft mount with the stellar, it's fair now. Tire with a physical card side for people in sailboat. Also, there's no stellar or reverse stellar out of either deck so far. Spectres, not many. Brozier's key card, also in this deck, they give you shield and PTO, which is the best other way of picking up PTO and common form. Since some of the original decks, Force of Stars again and that's Fog. Probably going to be another key card with the main deck or the side deck and the upcoming card. Okay. Well, no Stellas, but that's cool. Wasn't really expecting too much. So, I'm going to open it from the start. Let's see what we got. In the process of these packs that I've been cut up, they're pretty, pretty stacked. Um, it seems to have fixed that. So we've got a little bike. And we've got a little bike. And 
E. Lava Cell, one of my highlights that you love to look at this card. It's so cool. Oh, we've got we do have a hollow. A little surprise. One slab. Rough and hard base here. Not used to opening this card. No medal. We've got an Arcanine. So that's cool. One of the uh, the new lifts from the set. Got a pretty, pretty powerful ability. It can be normal cast. This opponent has two attacking Elestrals on the field. Um, and when you do, you can enchant up to three Thunder from your underworld to your field. So this is pretty powerful. You know, Thunder Nexus style build. Um, a lot of people can be sad and sparkly, but here, yeah, this is really good. You really pushed. There's still a long way to figure out if you have text in the field. So, let's see what we've got. We've got Zapta this time. Half an hour. Fortune. Lucky. And it's Mudlet. Sorry, the Mudlet. Oh, and it receives one of my Earth and changes the position of the it's going to be pretty strong. Big cow, soul stones. Caramel. Oh my god. Pull out Gorgon's Gates. Oh, now I'm very happy with that thing. It's amazing. How's it going, Grave Shift? Thanks for joining in. So this is uh, my first ever stream. I, uh, I'm pretty happy with a full art Gorgon's Gaze from a second pack. Now I've just got to decide whether I want to keep it or sell it to try and recoup some of the costs. So, yeah, I mean, I'll take that. Still not called a Stella. No Stella in either of the decks. But uh, I'll take the full art Golden Gates from the deck pack cards for sure. How's it going, Grave Shift? Oh, Alright, let's see if we can continue this lap. So we've got one guide, one little guy. Run the Humbox, Eddie, Lava Cell, still not the Lava Cell, uh, Fog, this is very good, sticky for me, always, just woke up, is that, do uh, you have work today or anything, Humbust, and ooh, Brumalix, it's good, heard, heard that the um, Brumalinx is quite scarce sometimes in boxes, and I, I kind of wanted to put it in my round set. So I'm glad I got that. Yeah, Fun Guide is pretty awesome, and uh, I've seen a few people try and play it now on stream. Dan obviously played it in casuals and his stream. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be my style of deck. I'm not really sure what my style is yet, to be honest. Eddie! Let's just do this. A bifum. Um, yeah, I quite like the Earth Beatdown style. Um, a little bit of Nexus, a little bit of control, I guess. Uh, from that sense. Too I just saw the uh, the Electronauts video on their Rhino Sec deck and it used this, and I thought that was a pretty interesting take. Top to Swarm is pretty powerful. I'd like to try Win Nexus, I think. Uh, Mr. Deck that uh, considered. But yeah, Top to Swarm is pretty good. Here's my boy, Ryan him. I have to admit, this is probably my my, my Elestral. If I was going to have to start a Elestral in this game, I think it would be Ryan Inim. At least for now. Caramel. Barabol. And. A second Archilith. Archilith stacked. Apparently. Apparently, my starter deck packs want me to play Thunder. 
it's a really cool card. Yeah, I um, I've been trying to, I've been listening to people's builds on Win Nexus, and it's it's quite interesting. I know it's a resource heavy deck. Um, I love the original. It's it's all time. Yeah, I just um, think adding the, the, the wind toxin to it is really going to boost the wind um, deck. It's going to be pretty cool to see what people can do in Daybreak because I think the meta is going to be a little bit more open than it was in, in Frostfall, which is pretty cool. And I know we didn't Frostfall <laughs> long live. Long live. Nebelia, Eagle, Lumeru, I love Lumeru, such a cool little guy. Love that he's a fire that boosts the mirror strategy, even inside of the mirror box. Unboxed. Orky Tide, oh, oh, is that a, could that be? Anacel, and an Apollo, that's a nice ball. I'll take the Apollo Apollo as well. This is a stat. Up of the deck. Yeah, it is really a game changer of Thunder. And again, Thunder is um it's not another one that was or maybe it's just because of Thunder Nexus would spark it. But it wasn't really uh an archetype I was particularly interested in. But uh, I really like Arclift as a card, especially with the Nexus mechanic, which is I think is one of the best things about this game. And I'm loving all the divines. I can't wait for Artemis. to start building some decks as well because I mean I've got an Earth Beat deck built um like I said my first deck I'm going to build after I've opened all my boxes and stuff is going to be Rhino Rhino Sect <laughs> you are definitely a, uh, a mushroom lover aren't you <laughs> I saw you against I think, I think you play uh, the Bronze Glow against so really yeah it was it hazy oh morphos back i think it's going to be a card that gets better especially as you get more morphos holes is cool I like holes are oh of a color cycling Shame about Cyclodon. Alright, well, that's all of the starter. Start. Not bad pulls from the two decks. Like I said, I've got another two of each deck, which I'll probably open in the <laughs> Yeah, I'm hoping to get to play in that style format if they do it again anytime. I did put a comment saying I'd love to be a, another opponent of theirs. Thinking of uh, maybe bringing, making them bring something like Stratum up from the original set, because I quite like that as well. Yeah. But yeah, it's not bad, Paul. So I'll take that. Two Archaliths and a Apollo, Apollo, and a full art Gauze and Days. I'll take, I'll take that out. Six packs. It's always nice to get a stable full art as well. <laughs> 